What's up YouTube, Godforman221 here, and welcome back to their COH2 replay for Season 6. We got a nice match on Port of Hamburg. We are playing with Nick and Nick's friend Jimmy. And we're going up against Tristan, Captain Amazing. Okay, well, whatever. Game, whatever he, his name is, insult. Let's talk about this map, the Port of Hamburg. Obviously, there's you can well, let's just take a look here. You can see there's some port-like facilities, like uh, well, it's a bridge, but they, you get the idea. Like this is where they would put ships in. Yeah, it's a port. Okay, anyway, that's the strategy here. So, Jimmy is in the green, Nick is in light blue, I'm in regular blue. So I will be fighting over the center victory point. Jimmy is going to be fighting over the victory point on the left side and the fuel. And Nick is going to try to secure our fuel in the south. So this is their fuel. Uh, or, you know, our enemy's team here. That's their fuel. This is our fuel. So if we can deny them their fuel and get our own, that's even better. Some early combat with Nick and his opponent, Salt. Salt is going to hop into the house. And he has riflemen. So Nick is a little... A little behind right now. These grenadiers are hanging out. I am engaging with some British units at distances that I do not like. <laughs> they might actually beat my squad. I gotta, you know, use the terrain to my advantage, the cover system. And I'm trying to help flank around. And look at this. This is a perfectly set up MG. Good for him. Uh, unfortunately, I can get out of his range, which is good. But my men are still going to be suppressed for a little while here. So I'm going to stop my troops here. They're going to be suppressed for so long, I can't even... Yeah, it was just... That was kind of frustrating at that point. Anyway, he's going to move up. I'm going to push back a little bit. Can't find the heavy cover. There's some Vickers over here, so I do have to be careful. I need to get back from this position. This is a very good... Uh, this is like a guard tower or something. This is a very good building to have, I guess, if you're on this side. Helps lock down. So I'm in trouble right now. I have two Koopawagens. And uh, I'm not paying attention to my Koopawagen. So it's going to die, which is... Uh, I'm trying to back it up, but... It got wrecked, so... I think I had a misclick. I thought I only had one Koopawagen, so... Yeah, that's a problem. It's a little bit of a misclick there. I didn't need two of them, that's for sure. I could really... We did no one captured this. Nick, uh... Nick didn't capture that, so I'm gonna have to because... Nick's having a battle for the fuel here, but even if he secures this, we have nothing connecting. And if you see right here, there's no connection. This is not a connection there. I have more folks grenadier. That's what I gotta do. I gotta get folks grenadier out. I have to get some of the SCG-44 combat, you know, assault rifle package here. And be able to try to counter these British units. But Nick has secured our fuel there. We'll see no real change, I don't think, when he captures this. We're only getting 10 fuel per minute. Yeah, see, no difference there because they're not connected. So Nick is now connecting this, which is good. I should have, like, with my cool Wagen, I should have seen this and connected that. I think I will in a second here. Nick has a mortar, they have a mortar. Yeah, the US has a lot of troops, a lot of infantry here, mortars getting set up for the US. I like the rain. I think it's like a nice effect on this map here. We were Nick and I were talking about the good old days of COH2 and it was a brand new game. Many moons ago. It's like an old person. Oh. <laughs> when uh when COH was a was a new game here. And um, one of the things that was interesting was everyone was so excited. Blizzard, they had the blizzard effect, right? So, you know, fog of war would go down, units would freeze to death. And then I liked it. I thought it added some strategy and elements to the game here. You'd kind of pause the fighting during a blizzard. But they've gotten rid of every map, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't played any of the 1v1 maps. I don't really do 1v1s. So I do 2v2s and up. But correct me if I'm wrong here. I have not played with a single blizzard on any map 
that's currently in the rotation. Now, please let me know. If I'm missing something here. Oko River, maybe? Maybe they have a blizzard. They disable a lot of them. It's not a mechanic anymore. Yeah, so it's not it's not a mechanic, which is kind of it's kind of weird. I, I kind of miss that. Be a nice mechanic to have back in the game. Of course, yeah. So now my opponent, because I've been pushed back by that machine gun and trying to I've lost some units here. I'm trying to deal and try to help take this fuel over here. I've given my British opponent time to build up, which is very, very bad. A bow versus down. He has a forward assembly point here. It is, uh, it's not good. <laughs> Giving the British time to build up is not a good thing. They can get heavily put down their emplacements here, but I'll show you my, my strategy to counter this when it does indeed happen. So I got a ton of manpower here. I'm building this up. I'm going to get some forward tree points, get some medics out here, get some infantry support guns. I'm going to make sure not to put my resources. I'm using my munitions. So I'm now attacking, and I'm going to try to outflank around. Can I see any of this stuff here? I can see there's something there. That was, well, that was rather dumb of him to do. Oh, I guess he wanted to get... Never mind, he wanted to get vision for that Bofors. So, uh, yeah, I died there. <laughs> and now I see a Bofors in the middle. And I'm like, ooh, that's not good. What is this right here? Afford to sell me support. Oh, it gets a bonus without a squad garrison in it. Interesting. I don't use the British emplacements that much. Um, you can't get wrecked by them. So look at this, look at this smoke advance from... From Jimmy. He is putting down some smoke here. I think that was him. Let's go to the south again. Nick is still holding the fuel. His grenadiers do have MG 42s. Nice upgrade there. Oh, is that a grenade? Oh, that hurt. Nick does have a sniper out. Shop suits up. Nick does have a Ford assembly area here. Wow, there he's making good use of his grenade salt over here. Nothing's really happening. Our opponents have actually on the left side. Jimmy has forced them off the field, and now they're trying to defend this area right here. The fact that he's pushed him this far back and making him put emplacements covering the field now, that shows that we're winning on this left side here. Just have to kill the middle. And what am I doing? I am making my hated. I hate this so much. I hate infantry support guns. But this is the counter to the emplacements, and it works, and I will use it to win, and that's what we're going to do here. Nice Thompson from the captain right there. No upgrades so far with the bazooka. Nick is a very... Nick will often set up in kind of a static defensive position here. We play. The reinforced bunker. He loves half tracks. So his Bofors is going to die with two infantry support guns here, and I'm also grabbing a a nice half track with infrared. So that'll help. I've also got my men set up in a nice defensive position here along the road, and I also have AT in case they decide to push forward here. Jimmy's trying to help me in the middle, but ultimately I got to destroy what's here with the emplacements, and then. Like, it, it's taking damage, so... It's gonna try to repair, of course. Or maybe he will push up. That is the question. So we're losing on victory points right now. Nick is struggling on this side still. Jim's in kind of standoff on the... You can see the bottom left corner here. P at spam. Very interesting. There is no vehicles Jimmy has out. Piets can do well against the bunker, though. Oh, that's nice. He put a little sandbag here. Not even. I mean, it looks like it would cover his men, but it doesn't. Piets don't do that much damage. Just to be kind of careful. At least the infantry, they don't. 
But it looks like Jimmy was very prepared. There's mines down here. I don't know if those are his or the Brits. So, yeah, they put a mortar position down, which is actually kind of smart. He's almost dead here, but he is repairing with his own units there. And I can see him repairing. Now, the question is, what should be the high priority here? What I was thinking was, take get rid of the Bofors, and then the mortar position I can hit with these guys here. Or because the mortar position is kind of built forward, I can start taking it down. This thing is almost dead here. He's reinforcing off of this, but it, it died, so that's very good. So that emplacement is now lost. His units that are moving up are now getting hit by my guys at the STG-44s. And that's got, got wiped out here, and this is now a brace position here. Even if he pushes these guys back, which I'm not saying he will, throwing a nice flame grenade right there on his MG. Even if he pushes my units back, this will die to my... Oh, nice grenade there. Yeah, this will die one way or another, even if the Panzerfaust or from the infantry support guns here. So the center has collapsed. My opponent has a lot of 400 manpower invested in this guy right here. He's his headquarters 250, and then, you know, you have the, the Bofors, whatever that costs. The cost of fuel. Wow, look at that. The Brits threw down some heavy artillery right here. So I'm temporarily cut off from my position here. It looks like they actually might damage their own thing. And look at this. A glider comes flying in. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, this is bad. My men are low health. Going to get this squad out of here. Commandos will wreck this unit here. So it is time to fall back to my nice forward retreat position here, which is letting Jimmy also heal up his units. Infantry support guns have been dropped back because they've kind of served their initial purpose here. And I have a Panzer headquarters here to cover my position back here. Let's take a look at Nick's side here. I've also got some Panzer Fusiliers out. Nick is using the... Nice. It's a tank, so the incinerary rounds are the... That's what they're called, right? The incinerary rounds aren't the most devastating, but it still did some decent damage. Jimmy has his opponent still... I don't understand the why you would defend this section here. Here's what I would do. Put some barbed wire down and move. Like, you need to support your ally in the middle. You're letting them totally outflanked here, and you should be pushing for your fuel here. If they have you choke pointed, you know, if it's a choke point here and they have it defended, why not go around? I don't, I don't see why not. <laughs> anyway. I just had to reinforce our troops. I used some ammunitions, guys. Breakthrough tactics. We will rapidly capture points here. And my men move quicker. It's like our blitz mode. So, yeah, this this glider cost him a lot of money too. Did he lose his command? He lost his whole commander squad. Wow. So he's gonna lose everything. He lost so much manpower. I mean, he's, he's coming back with like one squad, right? This cost him 500 manpower. Don't land a glider in the middle of of the battlefield. Like put it like here or something. Land it there, and then you can, you know, get some reinforcements off of that. Make some commandos, reinforce units. So yeah, this burst player has been wiped out. Basically, they have some artillery coming down here from their base. And Nick, while well, not being able to secure the victory point, has protected our fuel the whole game. So we're getting 33 fuel compared to our opponents. We're getting 19. Does he have? No, this is the this is the guy at the bottom. Let's talk. Let's go look at Tristan here. So Bofors is 280, so not too expensive. But the real thing that hurts you with the Bofors is the fuel. 30 fuel is a lot. It's basically a vehicle. Okay, a light vehicle. It's something. It hurts. It delays you from getting a tank. Yeah. This is a no-win situation for the guy over here. And he's using his mortar to counter their mortar. Oh, this guy. This is what my. This is what, if Tristan wanted to go heavy on emplacements, he should have gone with this doctrine. Because it allows you to get the repair units so they can automatically repair your guys which are overpowered. 
So you have to kill this first. Anyway, Nick is having a little trouble down here with the American blob here, so I'm trying to help him. There's perks. This is how you kill an MG. You get a nice flame grenade there, and I have one squad not suppressed. And I see this is exactly what I want here. Maybe I can hit him with a Faust. He's going to back up, though, and even with my, my Faust, he's going to have some good speed here. His turn will only last for so long. I'm very close to a Panther. In fact, I will get a Panther momentarily. But now I have this guy on the ropes here. And now what is he building? I'm Bofors. Come on. There's no point to defend here. I get it. You have three standard points here, but there's, there's no fuel. There's no victory point. The only reason they're still in this game is because they have this victory point right now. I actually got an MG to help defend this area here. Oh, he needs the improved health. So I don't like using these guns here, but they did destroy all his emplacements, and that was a good counter. I remember last time I tried using the Stuka Sufuses on a, on a match in Season 5, and you guys said definitely go with the infantry support guns. Looks like Nick is neutralizing this position here, but look at a little bit of a blob action here from Salt. And Nick has to run back. Bet 3 squad here. Nick is doing... Good with unit preservation. He hasn't lost units that have good veterans in a lot of his units. My opponent is building another emplacement this time. But I killed the gunner there, which will give us time to throw a grenade. That's all I need is to be able to throw the grenade. And there goes his MG. And it's a Bofors. And I see this. And I'm going like, are you kidding me? His bow first gets put up here, and I got to retreat. And we're going through whatever kind of artillery is coming down here. It's, it's white phosphorus. So they made that kind of a little bit of a no man's land. So they can't advance now with that. I mean, they can. But it will sap away all their health. So I have no problem retreating. We're not retreating very far, obviously. We're just right back to here, and I can heal up and reinforce very quickly. Panther is on the field. I brought it down to help Nick, actually. Oh, and my opponent's making another push. I'm setting up a bunch of emplacements again. Let's take a look at this attack here. They are... They are pushing. Two double machine guns on the bridge. Jimmy is trying to hold this. He is the Panzer Riffer. So you push them back again. There's there's no point of I'm gonna stop saying there's no point defending this bridge. Just came down saying that line. Look at it, he's building a second mortar pit right here. I can see that from right here. You know what beats an emplacement? A tank. He's not gonna against the sloped armor at this angle, he's not gonna do any damage to my Panther. I want to take three hits to kill this thing. Four hits. Okay, now he breaks his structure, so it'll take a little bit longer. I brought my entry support guns over here to deal with his emplacements again. We have a Stuart coming in. He's going to be a sneaky bugger. He's going to use his special ability right here and uh, shell shock and blind my tank so it can't see anything. But the... Yeah, Jimmy doesn't like that guy blobbing. and We saw that he was blobbing in the south here. So multiple emplacements going down again. Mainly going after these mortars here. He stopped bracing and he said he might as well fire. And he's trying to counter me here with his, with his mortars. However, we have an AT gun, and that is a problem. I disagree that Axis is super easy. I think it's just whoever, whoever you play. But he's kind of blobbing up, too. So, that one got killed here. I got to fall back a little bit, get my Panther repaired. No one quit yet. Ooh, he lost a lot of units suddenly, did. Yeah, it seems like he doesn't have very many men. An is being he must have got 
wiped out by something. Nine. Maybe that wiped out some of his units there. I, that seems like Orange lost a lot of his troops there. Anyway, Bofors is killed. I'm going to start pushing it on the flank again. And a Stewart against the Panther. I gotta be kind of careful. This guy needs to get healed up and repaired. But if I Faust him... Once again, this Stewart has nine lives. I gotta be kind of careful. They have the AT gun there. It's a special shot there, and it's not worth losing a, a Panther. So at this point, I realize I probably... I'm floating a lot of manpower, but that's okay. I have good population right now. And I, I would build a fuel cache or anything, but I can't. Lots of AT. Oh, look at this. You know, Nick told me he loves artillery, especially when it's being shot at him. But this is going to be shot at me this time. So uh, it is time to retreat. And I will actually be able to, because of the spread on that and a couple of the shells being absorbed by these towers here, I'm going to fall back, so I'm going to use my energy support guns to kill emplacements. I'm not going to use them against infantry. I'm using them with honor, right? Not doing the, not spamming like five of them like some people do. Tank on the field, Essentior. Essentior. Now this is an AA. Essentior. Yeah, it's, it's an AA, so it's very anti-infantry. And uh, probably not good against any kind of armor. I'm kind of surprised Jimmy doesn't have like a maybe Santa, he must be saving up for a panther. Making them, I would save. I would get a panther if I were Jimmy. But that's just me. Looks like Nick is taking the center, sniping away at the the crew there. And yeah, more red smoke. Not good. They really hate these energy support guns here. But this is, look on the mini-map here. Can we see that live? Yeah, look on the mini-map. You see all these airplanes coming down? This area is about to get absolutely leveled. This whole area. Absolutely devastating if I had units in this. So, uh, disembark. That got blown up. My headquarters is almost blown up. This one's almost blown up. Like, if I had my headquarters clustered, I could have lost them both. So I thankfully had more units coming out to help repair my Panthers, because now I'm going to have two of them on the field here. But i got to get these, these headquarters repaired. You don't want to leave them at a, a damaged state, because they can get destroyed. Especially with investing in the medics and the forward retreat point here. Okay. My opponent decided to build more emplacements. So I'm going to throw a flame on this to whatever I can to damage this this thing right here but I can't move my tank he threw a grenade right on his men there it was like ridiculous so Nick has been dealing with the calliope there just want to see this guy pop up here yeah this that is too light a gun on that command tank to really do a lot of damage there let's go back down to Nick I want to show more of his they're using smoke against Nick here. He's just struggling a little bit. Oh, we ran a sniper right through the grenade. So after I blew up his Bofors here and his... I used my tanks to take out his anti-tank thing there. He put another... A third mortar emplacement. He's got like 18 emplacements. After I'm killing this, my opponent decided to quit here. Nick is still holding though, he's been holding our field the whole game, so that's been very good. I called assault artillery down, I thought... Yeah. That's a little friendly fire right there, I'm saying. I could have used that on this position, it would have been much better or something. But now they have uh, planes coming in, so to be kind of careful. And my headquarters should be... This one's almost done being repaired. These guys are vet 5. I've not lost a lot of men. I've also been killing emplacements, though, so I won't have a high kill count at this point here. Yeah, Nick is much higher, and so is Jimmy. I'm dealing more with the emplacement spam versus the blobs. 
Looks like Nick has been pretty effective against. He has a Tiger on the field now, and that's going to hurt. Keep in mind, Red is now computer controlled, so that was an AI that got their guy blown up. Looks like Nick is going hunting for a pack howitzer. Now keep in mind, whenever you send in a tank, you want to have infantry support with it so it won't get singled out or protect from AT units. And that's where his infantry is though, right here. Veterans see they have LMGs. It's going to be kind of hard for Nick to counter here. And running into two AT guns? This is not a tank. You know, a Tiger is not a Panzer IV that can quickly... Well, then again, you do fire one shot, 88 millimeter, and you... Let's play with fire here. But Nick did wipe out both AT guns. Very nice from the Tiger right there. And... Whoa, look at all those bodies being thrown. And he's going to target them and make sure they can't reman them like they're trying to do right now. So take a look on the mini map here, right? Nick is keeping them busy and look at the flanking force. Now, I, I said you should bring infantry. If you're in a quick strike like this right to the heart of their base here. Yeah, my opponent realizes, Salt realizes he's screwed because come at his infantry is going the wrong way. I'm, you know, the pathfinding. These guys are not super quick or easy to maneuver, and yeah. You get a Yog Tiger if I want, but I don't have the population, but I can't believe they missed point blank. These gunners. My infantry is fighting with his infantry that's retreating here. And as that gets blown up, they decide to start a good game to our opponents. Some, su some suggestions. Don't defend meaningless points. Don't spam emplacements. And uh, this guy actually did pretty good in the south. He held the victory points. So he did his job for most of the game. Yeah, but, and uh, let's look at kills and deaths here. Here they are. So like I said, good game. I was playing with Nick and Jimmy. Cut for my T21 signing off. Leave a like down below.